Hello everyone, this is Scott from TheAlexation.com. Today I want to be showing you an update to 360 Total Security version 7.0. 7.0 added a bunch of new security features, and I'm going to quickly just go in and show you those. Though. Other than, of course, fixing bugs, making it faster, and stuff like that, they added two features in here. The browser protection and a firewall. The browser protection allows you to lock your browser so that way it cannot be changed. It'll allow you to set your default search engine, your default home page, and your default browser. If they're ever changed, this program will prevent them from being changed. So pesky things like the Ask Toolbar will not be able to interfere with your browser or your search engine. It's a wonderful tool because so many people will get bad search engines that are distributing adware and giving up pop-ups and stuff and this is the easiest solution to do it to stop it you just go through here you fill it out you click lock all and then you're done if you ever need to change it you can unlock them you just click in here turn it back on want to change your search engine change it lock it the only other notable feature in 7.0 was the firewall. The firewall is actually is, is uh, created from glass wire. While it's not their own firewall, they have done heavy integration. Typically, the firewall does not have any built-in features with an antivirus. If you find any running processes like this, you can scan it. And it will give you a report. Um, you'll also get alerts on all the latest items that are trying to gain network access from dates to specific apps to a type. Um, usage will need to see how much internet usage you're doing, you're using. It shows you about a time scale of when you are and aren't using it. And it'll tell you the host, the traffic, and you can do it by day, week, or month great feature allows you to get tons of information about what's using bandwidth what's connecting to the internet and what you can do to kind of minify the effects of it um, as far as protection features it's fairly interesting um, if you put a firewall as you can see the firewall on firewall off always have the firewall on and you can kind of go through and check like I could just say now it shouldn't be able to connect or the firewall should be monitoring it it's definitely as you can see it bounced back after I turned it off it's a very neat looking tool it's not something like Komodo's firewall but it does have some security features and I'm gonna quickly go into you if you go into the settings menu you'll be able to see what it can do, um, I always run it on startup. I disable the train notifications because I would have punched a hole in my monitor if I had them going anymore. You can change the graph skin and colors. You can clear the history and that nonsense. Um, th it seems to work as it's a network. It was traditionally meant for businesses and it was more like a network firewall where rules and set rules and blocks were controlled by them it almost seems like 360 and glasswire partnered to where either one of them is monitoring the firewall and controls the settings and the blocks as you can see i disable actually the allow, allow remote access should be disabled and if you go into the security these are all the ones enabled by default uh, if you ever wish to add or change these, you have to unlock it, which will then prompt you. And then you can stay over here and you can give all kinds of information in like the first network activity, the system file monitor, things are, and the system files are being modified, device list manager, the application info monitor. It has you all kind, it does a lot of different protection. Monitor. It has a lot of different protection modules, internet access monitor, the bandwidth overage monitor, notify me if this computer uses a certain amount of bandwidth over a specific time period. That can be good. Um, it definitely helps you control how much internet you're using. 
Uh, it's great if you have like kids and they like to stream or download a ton. You can limit how much they can use. It's good. You could even try to use it as a like you can do a time period of a week and you could say that they can only watch like well we'll just say 10 gigs. They can only use 10 gigs of your internet bandwidth and you can enable it there. But I have no use for such things. Error P spoofing, notify me the MAC address associated with my IP has changed. If this happens, they'll notify you and it will attempt to block it. If it's deemed malicious, and if there's anything that you wish to enable or disable, you just have to click the on, off, and then when you're done, lock it back up. Definitely is not something everybody was expecting. I have it running with the Windows firewall and I've never seen any conflicts because it's not something like Komodo. It's not really blocking internet. It's just kind of monitoring it. It's just a monitor of what passes through your computer. I mean, if you want to, you can just... Everything. It's a very interesting feature. Um, the only other minor things that they added were in the actual settings menu. If you go into your settings, well, there are some couple other things. You'll be able to whitelist items in your speed and in the full check. This means you won't be getting annoying issues saying, oh, you didn't do a full. You're, you're not going to get speed up and, account and you have to constantly untick the system services or the services that you didn't want. And it's in the exception list. And as you can see, I've added some exceptions. You can remove them easily, just clicking through here, and remove, and then it'll appear in the scan. Um, cleanup got a, I wouldn't say a tuna, but it's a little bit stronger than it used to be. And then they added a new feature, which, well, they also added some browser add-ons. You can get the browser support for Chrome, Firefox, Opera, and Yandex, and Internet Explorer, as far as I understand. I don't use that though. Um, not a lot has changed here, but the one thing they added was in the data hijacking protection. It basically encrypts the documents, so that way, you know, let's just click then learn more. Actually, new feature: data hijacking protection. The computer has has been become a common place to store our most valuable digital files. As again, it's just essentially it encrypts the information. Only known and trusted applications will have access to the documents. So essentially, if you have a Microsoft Word document and your um, your feed widget from Chrome is trying to access it, that one's going to look mysterious, like it's trying to gain access to it, and it will be blocked. Um, this is great, especially for like ransomware, which has to get files and lock them down and try to make you pay money. Um, I haven't really seen many attacks like that in myself, but they are in the wild. This would technically help you protect the actual files from being encrypted over them or to get the files stolen. It's encrypt by encrypting these files with a uh, complex algorithm. So basically, pictures, PDFs, office documents, regular documents, all of those family movie files and stuff, they'll all be safe and encrypted, so no form of application is able to gain information from it and therefore misuse it. This is definitely a really powerful feature. Um, I'm not sure how it would perform in testing or how you would go about testing that. But it's a nice feature to have that there's a form of encryption running on all your files that are normally the target of ransomware and trojans in the first place. Um, now I haven't seen much increase in the resource usage. Resource usage for this update is still kind of, well it's actually gone down a little bit. I haven't seen much so. I was normally soaring at like 300, I'm now down to like 216. Um, 300 on the 360 total security application. I haven't seen much difference anywhere else as far as the program's performance. 
Um, no new themes, nothing else of really interest. I was kind of disappointed in the update because something that I was waiting for months. I'm like, ooh, they finally added a firewall, and then it took me like five minutes to figure it out, and then I was bored. <laughs> so I'm really hoping I'm waiting for the new tools to come out, more tools, something else that makes the program better. So thank you very much for watching. Please see you in the next video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them below, and I'll make sure to help you out. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.